When a disaster strikes, emergency communication is essential, but often it's one of the first things that fails. That's where folks involved with amateur radio step in. Fox Toledo's Jennifer Steck hit the airwaves this afternoon and joins us live with how 35,000 people from around Northwest Ohio and the world are getting together this weekend to test their emergency readiness skills. Well, when all else fails, amateur radio works. It's a mantra Mike Kleinfeld lives by, because he knows firsthand the saying is true. To help make the public more aware of what amateur radio is capable of, they're showing off their skills for 24 straight hours this weekend. Full quieting and 100% uh, copy. No trouble there. Well, hello to Fox News. Nice to hear them out there. All right. Mike Kleinfeld has been an amateur radio operator for almost 20 years. But when he and his wife nearly lost their lives last year in the tornado that devastated Lake Township, his first instinct was to reach for his radio. Well, yeah, that's the first thing. Uh, we have nets, we have Skywarn nets that come up in these situations, and uh, we're out there. The lake tornado destroyed the township's administration building, taking with it the police dispatch center. In this case, a makeshift one was set up in a nearby town. But if that didn't happen, Kleinfeld says amateur radio could have filled the gap. When your cell phones go down, your landlines at home go down, uh, whatever it is, electricity's gone, we're able to go out in the field, set up our equipment, and get that emergency communications out to whoever it needs to go to. To help spread the word of their disaster readiness, Toledo area ham radio operators will be showing off their capabilities this weekend in a 24-hour long demonstration. We just get all our equipment ready. We want to test everything. We want to make sure our generator will start when needed. We want to make sure our coax works. We want to make sure our radio works. Uh, we want to be prepared so if we are deployed, we can get that emergency traffic out to other places. Well, that 24-hour long demonstration starts at 2 p.m. tomorrow at the Electrical Works Local 8 building on Lime City Road in Rossford. The event is open to the public. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Stack, Fox Toledo News.